Hello, everyone. In the realm of Untitled Attack on Titan, utilizing an ODM is practically a necessity. Simply lying in wait atop a tree for a giant isn't always a foolproof strategy. Chances are they might spot you first. Maneuvering on foot is akin to volunteering as a giant-sized snack. Just like a seasoned soldier, the choice of mobility gear becomes crucial, ensuring not just swift movement, but also the preservation of one's head. I'm quickly moving on to the video, and I'm ranking the ODM gears in Untitled Attack on Titan. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching! The default gear serves as the starting equipment for players upon entering the game, with a 27.25% chance of obtaining it through spinning in the gear shop. Classified as common gear, it has mediocre stats and abilities, making it less effective in missions and boss fights. Despite its below average speed of 3.9, which surpasses the alpha model gear, its limited gas and blade quantities pose challenges, necessitating caution during gameplay. While the blade throw ability can blind titans, the default gear's overall performance places it in the realm of mediocrity, urging players to aim for superior alternatives for better mission clearance. As a result, I'm placing default gear in the F tier. The default gear serves as the starting equipment for players upon entering the game, with a 27.25% chance of obtaining it through spinning in the gear shop. Classified as common gear, it has mediocre stats and abilities, making it less effective in missions and boss fights. Despite its below average speed of 3.9, which surpasses the alpha model gear, its limited gas and blade quantities pose challenges, necessitating caution during gameplay. While the blade throw ability can blind titans, the default gear's overall performance places it in the realm of mediocrity, urging players to aim for superior alternatives for better mission clearance. As a result, I'm placing Alpha Model Gear in the E tier. The boosted gear stands out as a rare and advanced ODM gear, surpassing both the Alpha Model Gear and the default gear. With notable improvements in speed, gas reserve, and range, it offers enhanced offensive capabilities, making it a valuable asset for tackling missions and confronting titans. Available in the gear shop with a 16% acquisition chance through spinning, it provides increased autonomy for players. While it serves as a solid choice for beginners, lacking healing abilities requires cautious gameplay. As a result, I'm placing boosted gear in the C tier. The medic gear available in the gear shop offers a healing alternative with skills akin to the powerful godly gear, albeit with lower stats. Despite being a downgraded version, it serves as a valuable option for self-healing and aiding allies when obtaining godly gear is challenging. The Z skill allows self-healing, mirroring the Savage Demise Gear's X skill and Godly Gear Z skill, complete with a shared animation and cooldown. However, during the three-second skill Z activation, movement is restricted, and healing an ally with full health using skill X is not possible. Overall, the Medic Gear proves slightly superior to the Alpha Model Gear due to its self-healing capabilities. As a result, I'm placing Medic Gear in the D tier. The Thunder Spear Gear, available in the shop with a 12% acquisition chance per roll, relies on Thunder Spears for its attacks, providing a unique ranged combat experience. With AoE damage upon hitting a Titan or reaching its range limit, it has the potential to eliminate multiple Titans in a single spear throw. While posing minimal threat to the player, this gear excels in wave scenarios allowing for swift elimination of numerous titans. However, its need for frequent restocking after every four attacks hinders sustained performance. As a result, I'm placing Thunder Spear gear in the C tier. Godly Gear, introduced in the September 4th, 22 update, is a legendary 3DM slash ODM gear with a 1% obtainment chance through spins at the gear shop. Designed with a divine theme, it features dove wings on the glowing blade box emphasizing its angelic effect. Primarily a support gear, it enhances survival chances for players and allies, making it ideal for waves or colossal boss fights. While lacking offensive abilities and having mediocre gas capacity, its healing skills and supply-providing ability make it invaluable in cooperative gameplay. 
As a result, I'm placing godly gear in the B tier. The Perfect Model Gear, a legendary ODM gear available in the gear shop with a 1% acquisition chance per roll, boasts excellent speed and range. However, its drawback lies in a limited gas capacity. Despite this, the gear strikes a balance with two defensive and two offensive skills, making it advantageous for both grinding and enhancing player survivability, albeit with a low damage multiplier. Another legendary gear shares similar traits, featuring impressive speed and range but lacking in gas capacity. Ideal for grinding and improving survival odds, this gear also suffers from a low damage multiplier as its only notable downside. As a result, I'm placing perfect model gear in the B tier. In the latest 1.5 update, a new mythical gear called Gold Hunter Gear has been introduced, obtainable with a 0.5% chance from the gear shop. This gear proves to be highly effective for gold farming against titans, boasting impressive buffs to gold, range, damage, and speed. Despite its mythical status, players are encouraged to utilize the Gold Hunter gear for efficient gold accumulation and mission completion. Notably, in the upcoming 1.6 update, the gear's stats will receive a significant buff, enhancing its performance further. It's an optimal choice for missions, yet users should exercise caution when facing bosses as it lacks self-healing capabilities. As a result, I'm placing Gold Hunter gear in the A tier. The Savage Demise gear stands as a mythical 3DM slash ODM gear of unparalleled prowess, obtainable through the gear shop with a mere 0.5% chance per spin. Boasting exceptional range, damage buffs, and speed, it reigns supreme as the ultimate gear for missions, bosses, and waves. Its offensive might is harmoniously balanced by defensive skills, solidifying its status as the game's premier ODM. With stats rivaling only the coveted Gold Hunter gear, obtaining this mythical gear is a rare feat, but the rewards in enhanced survivability and gameplay dominance are well worth the pursuit. As a result, I'm placing Savage Demise gear in the S tier. Obtaining the Pumpkin gear is exclusive to the 202 Halloween event and provides a temporary speed boost, making it advantageous for enhanced mobility. However, for overall performance, the perfect model gear is recommended over the pumpkin gear. As a result, I'm placing pumpkin gear in the B tier. The candy gear, a legendary 3DMG, was once available in the shop with a 1% chance per roll to obtain it. It held a special status during the 2021 Christmas update, being the top tier gear known for its unique ability to provide on the fly healing. However, since the update took place two years ago, Acquiring this gear is no longer possible, making it a limited and exclusive item from that time. As a result, I'm placing Candy Gear in the B tier. Grinch Gear, exclusively available during the 2022 Christmas event, proves to be an excellent option for those with fuel-thirsty vehicles. This special gear effectively eliminates gas consumption for a brief period, offering a unique advantage to users. If you find yourself in need of a temporary respite from fuel usage, the Grinch gear becomes a valuable asset. As a result, I'm placing Grinch gear in the A tier. The New Year's gear, exclusively available during the 2022 to 23 Christmas New Year event, stands out as the game's premier ODM gear. Renowned for its unparalleled stats and apex performance, it boasts a remarkable set of abilities that significantly enhance the player's efficiency in slaying titans. Acquiring the title of the best gear in the game, it enables players to effortlessly eliminate multiple titans with just a single button press. Despite its exceptional offensive capabilities, it lacks any self-healing functionality. Players can obtain this coveted gear by defeating the formidable fireworks boss. As a result, I'm placing New Year's gear in the S tier. The Easter gear, introduced in Update 1.6 for the special Easter event of 2023, is a limited-time epic gear. During the event, players could collect temporary egg currency to use in the Easter shop. However, once the Easter event concluded, the gear became unobtainable until the next Easter event. Similar to the Thunder Spear gear, it is considered not particularly powerful in the game. As a result, I'm placing Easter gear in the C tier. Dragon Breath is an ODM gear resembling the Thunder Spear equipment 
but distinguished by eight missiles adorned with golden, dragon-like markings. Functioning solely on thunder spears rather than blades, this gear relies on limited base attacks that necessitate restocking for reuse. The thunder spears deliver AOE damage upon Titan impact or reaching their range limit, offering the potential to eliminate multiple Titans in a single strike, making it ideal for wave scenarios. While it poses minimal threat to players due to its ranged nature, recent nerfs restrict its effectiveness against Titans, requiring hits specifically on the nape for successful eliminations. As a result, I'm placing Dragon Breath gear in the B tier. The Ice Gear, a coveted legendary item exclusively obtainable during the 2022 Christmas event, may not boast as many features as some other legendary items, but its rarity adds a special allure. Owning a legendary item, even with fewer attributes, is a desirable aspect for many players. The distinctiveness tied to the limited time availability during the Christmas event enhances its appeal. Acquiring the Ice Gear becomes a noteworthy achievement for those participating in the event. As a result, I'm placing Ice Gear in the B tier. The video comes to an end. What do you think is the best ODM gear in Untitled Attack on Titan? Write in the comments and let's discuss. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.